Hi, hi, you guys. I'm at American Classics. I stopped my booth. I spared you guys that, but I'll go show you what I put out new. And one of my local thrifting friends, you guys might know her from the chat too. Kristen is here with her husband shopping. She bought some things from me, and so she's picking them up here, and we, we're going to go shopping together now. So let me go find her. Oh, wait a minute. Look what I found in a 40% off booth. So 40% off 24. These are Viking. They're not chipped or anything. And I already checked them with the black light. So those I will save for the next glow sale. Pretty excited. So I'm going to shop around, but I just texted Kristen and we're meeting up. Oh, right there they are. Yay. Girl, stop. What is that? Oh my gosh, while I was working, look what she did. Is that not the most awesome? That is everything. How much is it, Kristen? It is $30, but it was 20% off, so 24 Get in the cart, yep. right? You guys, you know what that Sold. is. Sold. Gravel art, and not just any gravel art, but an epic kitschy cat. Yep. Oh my gosh, she's doing mm -hmm. well while I've been oh, working. A little treasure craft. Yes, that's adorable. Yeah, a little fish ashtray. That might be something that does sell for a little bit more. That's a cute. Japan kitty. Yes. And... Little blue mold. <laughs> a cat pumpkin. I love that. <laughs> love it. <laughs> All sorts of fun. So, where'd he go? I don't know. <laughs> How much do they want for those, Jason? 72. Um, Is that a Blanco? Those are Blanco. Yeah. yeah. Bookends, yeah. Joel Meyer? Uh, the Joel Philip Myers, yeah. Oh, but still. Love a booth with a nice sale sign. And I spotted this John Perry. That should be the biggest one I have. $36 and half price. So this is going in the cart. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes, that is the biggest one so far. Doesn't look broken or anything, just dusty. Wow, we're having a bit of a day here at the market. That's an exceptional deal. I'm gonna bring you guys in here. I usually just pass by. I mean, I find it interesting. It's just not anything that I think I can flip or that goes with my decor. Maybe a little bit of primitive. She has fair prices for, you know, personal use for sure. Like, oh, $12. <laughs> These are a more modern version. I have a set myself. $12 is a good price. <laughs> no barcode, so they're not super new repop. Oh, I have one of those. I haven't put it up yet. Let's see how much this one is. $195. Mine's not quite as fancy. But I always adore her little display here. Is this a hotel or post office display or something? Little knickknacks in every one. <laughs> Uncle Sam, four dollars. Uncle Sam Bendy. I like that. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Shop a little bit before they close. That has been marked down 20% off. I don't know if you can see the detail on it. It's got like Tiger's Eye Jasper or something in it. And there's a nice pin, a nice brooch for 15. It says it's signed, but doesn't say by who. Depending on who that's signed by, that could be a good deal. Oh, that's new for this booth. Little Scotty Silhouettes about four by five, four by six, with pink background. That's, they're in good shape too, you guys. Pets at the White House. Look at that older book. <laughs> There's a De Grazia for 15. That's not bad. Need this pan. Little bit of everything, new, old, 
This is a very eclectic booth. Just panning for you guys. 45. This is an adult muffler. Oh, how much is that baby? I love to find babies with more diversified skin tones. $12.95. You're a cutie pie. The precious moments are still here. I think she has shrunk down, a, consolidated at least one case gone, but they are now 50% off. There's all the boxes. Definitely all about timing when it comes to reselling vintage stuff. Is it too early for Christmas, you guys? Let's turn around and see. So they've got some ornaments for sale. Some jewelry. Thank you. I don't think I see anything real old. I do see something kind of 80s, 90s. That dough art. I see brooches. Coming in hot for the brooches. Those are modern. There's a modern assemblage, but that's kind of cool. I can't see the price, and I don't want to have that fall down. Why are bottles of buttons just so fascinating? It just really is. $15.95. One of my favorite booths. I never want to miss it because there's such cool stuff here and might be some things you guys want might want me to come back and pick up. And look at those little knee hugger ceramic pixies with real hair. $26.95. There's a pelican, artist on your rinconada, and a larger dog. $14.95, and I can't see on the dog, but I know a lot of you collect that. So we will look in here, and I will enjoy myself as well. Oh my gosh, look at that poodle brooch. It's got some kind of mink on it. <laughs> and a little, little ceramic cupid doll with the Dalmatian lick in its face. $12. Oh, there's some of the stuff I like. That's a unique shape. Let's see if I can work with these. $12.95 each. Nah, because I would probably sell those for about $20 or $22. Although those are a nice shape. The shape of that really adds to the vintage look. Little atomic flare. Safety pin art. <laughs> you guys, I'm telling you, the resale on this is not there yet. It's kind of just me so far. And some of you are getting fascinated with it too. And I think that's fun that some of you are playing along with me. I'll be breaking it out any day now and sorting through it and letting go of some of it. That's not a Blanco. That's check. It's a pinch owl. This is interesting here. This is um, a Viking, but notice how it's a double layer. I've only ever had one. There's another Viking, 1995. Well, if you come here and you're here for personal, you definitely want to visit here. There's another AR, 1195. Actually, you know what? When George was here, he did buy he did find some vintage flamingos. There's a certain kind that's worth a little bit more money. And you know, he goes to shows and he kind of knows his market at shows. You know, that no shipping involved. He knows what he can get at a show. And so he got those. Some Pyrex, some modern art glass. This is slightly vintage, yeah. 
it's already got the bubble lights on it. it might be display only because I don't see a price tag. I'm going to wait until after, right after Halloween, I think. Maybe even, a, I don't know when, but definitely not yet for putting out my Christmas stuff. But I certainly can't wait till the end of Thanksgiving. That would be a little too late. There's a frame, there's a framed enamel owl. Do love her booth. I have one of these, but I'm keeping it for myself. It's like a the Schooner. Look, it's got a swirly. It's like the Schooner. Um, it's like the Schooner Swans. She wants $19.95. That's a good. That's a reasonable price. I decided to keep it for myself. $29.95. Yeah, <laughs> it's fun to look though. Little baby booze. Kind of love the seductive ostrich. $16.95. I do love you. Have one of these. My husband bought me one and a local thrifter friend, Melissa, gave me one. Definitely have to find something else for her because she's also the one that gave me that Hager I showed on Instagram the other day. So I definitely want to keep up some friendship maintenance and find something so cool for her. Oh, the horses are gone. I wonder if they just moved him or if he used to have the water, the seahorses. They weren't seahorses. They were ho regular horses riding a sea wave. It's one of the more popular pieces of John Perry. I personally have one that I found for $7.99. Hannah found it for me at the Goodwill. And it's in my personal collection. Oh, I don't see it. Oh, they finally sold that, huh? Or moved it to another, maybe another booth they have somewhere. John Perry is another one of those acquired things. Not everybody is digging it, but they should because it's super cool, especially the vintage, the vintage pieces. Because I think I've mentioned that he's still alive and he's redoing some of his pieces, but he is doing them in other colors so that they can be distinguished which if you're going to do that that's thoughtful for collectors because that would be irritating to like remake your own stuff when to someone like me that's a collector already i do want to mention there's a lot of furniture here too i never really go in because i don't need it but there are some lovely refurbished furniture here's a booth hi cheryl <laughs> and Here's another booth. There's quite a few. So if you're local, please know you can save some money and find a more unique piece here at American Classics. I'm gonna pause here for a minute because I see a pretty epic piece of Raku by Earth and Fire. They want 49, which seems reasonable. This is a really nice piece, well done. That's some high skill level right there. I just randomly picked a row. You know, there's like three or four rows front and back. Wow, look at the deep color of that slag glass. It's almost like ox blood. I don't know if you guys can tell, it's a seriously deep, deep red. Like a blackened red. I don't know whose it is and I can't. They say it's a Fenton. Nice. some more silhouette art oh those are so cool would love to find some of those at the thrift store the little nodder salt and pepper shakers they want 35 I don't see a sale sign there's a swan I don't have that one there in the chocolate agate I don't have any chocolate glass um, right now I don't have I haven't found a piece you know how I am it's got to be at the thrift store in the wild or on sale lots of imperial that's marked that's different $70 
very bright neon blue satin over milk glass and it's a rooster <laughs> I like it okay so just know there's plenty more cases to look at I've backed up to remind you or for those who have never been here to know that it is worth the trip see there's all these cases front and back <laughs> it's okay Sonia do you want to say hi Sonia works here she'll help you if she's on duty her or Felicia are my favorites they have keys they'll help you also I'll update some of you that do come here a lot that are local and this lady used to be by me with the uranium glass case and we'd always look at it and then just that way was like the fiesta people so they might be the same people because i noticed they are now in this larger booth collectively so must have been the same person with two booths so it's way back in the corner now okay do not miss it we always looked at it because always had great stuff got some pyrex behind me i just bought this piece didn't i cam wow oh. i think mine's usa pottery is as close as i could get it's a little different shape but the color is the same so a little bit of everything back here there's her uranium set there's the fiesta i don't see the awesome wait oh my gosh that is gorgeous. I like the unique shape. Probably California pottery. Asking price 48. And then there's the Pyrex and probably maybe some Fire King. But they had that um, old time white stove. So that must have sold well for them. I'm getting ready to go past my booth. So I don't have a lot of that showcase yet because I haven't done the lock yet. But here's the things I brought in. The Indiana Glass Pig, $14. This assemblage someone made, and they put jewels and bling all over it. The La Crusade, this Air Force 10. Let's see, is there anything else? In this booth, the Poppy I put over here. Something's missing from there, so I must have sold something already. That's awesome. Brought in the little girl. Okay. Then we'll go over here to my other booth. Grabbing my cart. One of the blue squigglies is gone. Yay! Fostoria. The executive, those are, I'm not sure when. But they've got funny sayings on them. You guys have seen those, it's been a while. I decided to put the real Mary Mushrooms into a case. I've got them marked 30 and 40. Haven't brought in any jewelry yet. Did bring in this. That is a piece of Chinese imported glass, but it is older. It's a pretty periwinkle color, but it is priced accordingly, just 16 because it is, you know, Chinese, so it's not real high-end like a Murano or Venetian or anything, or Czech, or, but it is vintage. It is an older piece. Let's see. Somebody was looking at these. I need to mark these Hoosiers down. Brought that in. There's the Mary Mushroom copy. It's an Arnell mold, I believe. Mm, I moved a lot of things around. Oh, I bought this here, and then I raised this shelf up so I could squeeze it in there, so that helps me out. Just so some art glass, the modern Pyrex, the Tupperware. Have I ever showed you guys this? This is kind of rare. This is by Ori. It's called a um, flavor bloom. It's so cool. It spins, comes in a few different colors. I just have the yellow one. It's in great shape. All They're all marked different spices that are common.
I filled up the Hager case with some more Hager and other items. I think I told you I sold the big acrylic piece for 90. I had it 120 and um, took an offer of 90. They called me and I said yes. Um, well, a few new pieces here and there. I need to get my butt in here and keep stocking though. Look at all these empty spaces. I mean, it's good and bad. Let's see. Brought in a few more pieces of pottery. And, oh yes, and I brought these in here. I'm gonna try these here first. And if not, I'll take them over to eBay. So, so let me back up for those of you that are kind of new to the channel. So those of you on my first booth, mostly glass and pottery. And oh, then I got the second booth, you know, kind of catty corner. Yep, I need to get in here working. It's holiday time. There's my tags, how you can tell. Vendor name is Smile. Well, don't have a lot of time left, so I think I will scurry into the warehouse. Past the rock shop. Oh, look at those big chunks of glass, <laughs> polished to a point like a na um, nautical navigation point or something to the top. That's cool. Let's see what else might be new in here. Always something. Last time we saw the butterflies and the spiders and this time he's added a piranha. Let's do the warehouse. I am headed to the jewelry lady first, right? So, sorry for the breeze through, but I wanna be sure and catch it. Oh, she's got jewelry bags. How much are they now? 25. The price has gone up a little bit, but they do look bigger. But I will tell you guys, on the way here, I stopped at my jewelry honey hole and dropped $30. Bought some great stuff. I think you're going to love one piece for myself. And I went ahead and took the time and looked around at her jewelry bags. And she had some that were pins and birches, uh, $3. And so I bought five of them. And I'll wait and we'll open those together, okay? She has been in, that's more full. Some enamel pieces, nautical. That one I do like with the happy neon colors. $5. There was a smiley face inside that flower. I'd be on it. Well, I did add something besides the John Perry and the awesome Viking. This is only a dollar. Old school matchbooks. A lot of them are from casinos in Vegas. It's only a dollar. That's a lovely color. Taupe. Oh, look, little salt and pepper shakers that match, too. I love that Well, color. you guys, I think we're done. I hope you had a little bit of fun today looking around and meeting Kristen. She's part of the Colorado crew up in Denver area and her husband. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.